What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carpocane and we are back on box number three of Surging Sparks. Uh, first box didn't have an SIR, second box had a double hit, third box didn't have anything, but three out of, you know, three boxes we got two hits so far, like two big hits. So still okay on the average. Hopefully these next few boxes do have SIRs in them, praying. Um, and wishing into existence the whole point of like maybe seeing a double, double banger box in a case. That'd be nice. Um, so in the last video, we were talking about actually, because I just realized just now as I was trying to open this box, um, we've started we've started this set. Surging Sparks has come out, but before Surging Sparks haven't been has even been released on back in November eighth, we were already talking about Prismatic Evolution, right? Surging Sparks almost at this point doesn't matter. So, you know, a lot of people are probably like shortening their order, lessening their order. Um, <sighs> because, you know, everyone's going to shell out. Little do we know, really. I mean, there's there's, 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 there's those of us out there that are thinking about it. So, we've got... Oh, yeah, there we go. Cypher for Sylveon. We've obviously got... Prismatic Evolution coming up after this set. Oh, whoops, you guys want to see that one? Sorry, my bad. Um, we do have, like, I was talking about it, just felt like, again, opening up Prismatic Evolution. Was like, wait, wrong, wrong set, wrong timeline. We've got Prismatic Evolution coming up. That's going to be a financial doozy for everybody involved. But then it's going to be quickly followed up by the Team Rocket set, remember? And then the, 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 the Trainer Pokemon set as well, remember that? Yeah, you, you, you thought you were done. <laughs> you're never done. I mean, if you're, if you're going ham on something like, you know, Evolving Skies 2, like V2, you're definitely going ham on Team Rocket V2 and the uh, tag team trainers type Pokemon V2, right? And the scary thing about all that is there's still probably about seven other releases out of the mat that are going to be popping up during that like the last leg of um, Scarlet Violet. And that is terrifying because if we think about it going back Sword and Shield, they really, by the second half onwards, they really ramped up, you know. Like, when you think of all the products and all that stuff that came out, they ramped up pretty well, right? Like, they went... How did it go? It went... See, my my, my Sword and Shield memory is a bit hazy, because I started at a weird point in time. Like, it was just awkward. Like, I was running around buying booster boxes, like, booster packets of Brilliant Stars and all that kind of stuff, in and around Lost Origin, Astral Radiance. And then, you know, then Silver Tempest came out, and then right after that, it was, um... Silver Tempest came out, and then the Evolving Skies packets popped up in all this, the fuel stations and all that kind of stuff. And then Crown Zenith came out, you know? So, considering how much they ramped up in Sword and Shield, and they've, to be fair, with Scarlet Violet, I feel like they ramped up a long time ago. 151 was already a massive ramp. Like, how they had... For me, Scarlet Violet's been a massive, like, a massive plus. Almost the entire way. Okay, we've got a slacking Fallout. We don't have him yet. It's been a massive plus almost the entire way. They started ramping up from the second set, which is how they evolved. Um, and then Obsidian Flames came along. Not as big of a ramp up as people would have expected, but, you know, I feel like that was still a ramp up in its own self because, you know, Charizard and, you know, all the Pidgeot stuff like that. On the competitive side of things, Obsidian Flames was a massive ramp up. So what do you have after that? You had 151, right? <laughs> 151 came along, massive ramp up. And then all the Paradox Pokemon came along from, you know, Paradox Rift and Temporal. They weren't terrible sets either. And then you got Paday and Fates. That was a massive ramp up. Like, it definitely blew Shining Fates out of the water. Shining Fates almost made me quit collecting Pokemon when I just started because it was so brutal. I was like, what is this? This is terrible. This isn't fun to open. So, Paday and Fates was pretty sweet. 
And then from Powder and Fates, we went into what from that point? We went into... That was the Twilight Masquerade one, I think it was. The doozy. The, the one that I hate the most out of the entire set. <laughs> this entire set, I hate Twilight Masquerade the most. And then after that, we've had Shroud of Fable. And after that, we've had Stellar Crown. And now we're in Searching Sparks. And then we're going to be going into um, Prismatic Evolutions. I feel like... Without a non-biased view, they'd ramped up from a like a while ago. Like they've they've done way better than they did with Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield, when you kind of look at all the sets and everything like that, Sword and Shield took a long time to ramp up. It took a long time to ramp up until something was like, oh, this is sick. But it's like, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna reference the one alt art that I just feel so bad for seeing it every single time. Our boy Sandaconda. <laughs> The one way he's wrapped around the, the heater or something. And he's still like 10 bucks. And it's like... It's an old art. From base... From from a, from a main set. And he's like 10 bucks. Ah, the Switch again. I really, 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 really... I bumped my camera before like a dumb dumb. I really, really, really want... My, uh... My blender. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is okay. So you can have double hit packs. We'll talk about that before. Double hit packs are a thing. There we go. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've actually seen a double hit. So lava star, we don't have. Lava star, lavesta. I don't know how they say it or how they want you to say it, but I've said it both ways. And then we got the scrambling switch, which we already have. We are looking for a blender. So I can throw all my United Wings birds into the blender and they can serve their time and purpose in my discard pile. Alright, so Esper, Donphan, and Papia. Oh. Alright, so this right hand side so far has yielded five hits and there is still quite a few packs to go. Still quite a few packs to go. The insane part is you just don't know when the SIR hit's gonna come along. Oh, there's the Pikachu EX again. I feel... I feel like Pikachu... Wow. 300 damage. <laughs> it's starting to look like a fake card. You know, when you get them and it's like... This card has 10,000 HP and for 2 energy you just win the game. Yeah, that's what that feels like right there. <laughs> Just straight up 300 damage. And it wouldn't be too hard to get all that attachment on there either, I don't think. Not if you play it a certain way. Alright, we are... Fifth last packet. Yamath, Tender Scorch, and Terrapagos. I should probably also make a, like a note as well. This Terrapagos is the one that's going to be available, I think, at Best Buy. For the promos, and for Australia, JB Hi-Fi. Yeah, it's, that's happening. That's a thing. So... If you're an Australian wondering where those things, yeah, yeah. We're getting one from EB, and we're getting one from JB Hi-Fi, and the Quaxley comes from Pokemon Center, like, buy-ins and all that kind of stuff, so. <sighs> Quarkaball, Drayton, and Iron Crown. Chuck those in the corner there. I'm hoping this is not one of those sets where, like, I'm missing hollows and reverse hollows and stuff. It always is a, it's a bit sketchy when it comes to one case master setting. Master setting the base set anyway. Azelf, Dano, that's a full art. We don't have this one. Yeah, it looks cool. He looks cool. Aragon is one of the coolest Pokemon to come out in this set. Like in, like in this generation. It's so, it's legitimately, it, it, it's, a, it's an animate nigiri. <laughs> It's like, it's food. Fish are friends, no food. No, not in this household. That's food. <laughs> so we've got seven hits on this right hand side now, so we're on target to how we usually are. Okay, we've got eight hits on the right hand side. Okay. Okay. That was two two packs in a row this then too. Um Yeah, so the, the old Durant. I think this is the one where, like, yeah, if you summon him, they mill a card off the top of their deck. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's like, I summon Durant. 
Ah! Oh. <laughs> so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy shit. That's um very ominous for the right hand side, but if there's that much on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry, then there's quite a possibility that this is an SIR box. Stuck Trio and Skelly Dutch. There is a possibility. There's a sh greater than 20% chance that there is an alt art on here. So first pack of the left hand side. Also, like I was touching base on before, with that Team Rocket set, and how obviously a lot of people are a little bit more dejected by it because there's um... And I'm pretty sure Team Rocket is gonna actually be a booster box set. I don't think it's gonna be a holiday set. I don't, I don't know if they've verified that yet, but like, I think... I would imagine that it's a... It's a, it's a main set. I honestly think that the... Like the, uh... The, the not inclusion of Dark Pokemon... Milotic? In that Team Rocket, the glory of Team Rocket, blah 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 blah. I honestly feel like that they are going to... They are going to make the dark Pokemon side of the Team Rocket set into a holiday set. Like it's going to be like another, you know what I mean? I reckon it will be. And then we'll probably like at the end of the whole thing, we'll probably get like another Crown Zenith V-Star universe type thing. Which I wouldn't mind because it was fun. That, that one was fun. Crown Zenith, I didn't get too lucky with it, but it was fun. To be fair though, I've got a whole bunch of I got a whole bunch of more Pepe boxes behind me that I could open if I really wanted to, but I feel like that Crown Zenith ship has sailed for me anyway. Rotom? Ah, oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Let's have a ghost right there. Alright, so another thing to add to the Master set. Execute. Execute IR. And I think that's our second IR. So there should be another one lurking around in there. Come on, give us a good IR. See, like right now, our luck with the uh, previous set, the Stellar Crown, we kept on pulling Squirtles and Bulbasaurs over the place. Not complaining, by the way. But it's like... Now I'm like wanting to see a certain few pop out multiple times. Would be kind of great. A few Latioses would be awesome. Chuck this inside, get it to the front. That first card is absolutely shredded. On the corner, Fragonal. Stack and Chin Pow. Alright, so. Two hits so far on this left hand side, and I think we have roughly about 10 packets, if I'm looking at that properly. I think. There should be one more A spec lurking around. Oops. Oh, that's something on there. What is it? Hydreigon. Okay. I think that might be the last base set Terra that we don't have. I think that might be the last one. So we're adding to the set, which is good. We've obviously doubled up on a few. But I don't think we've doubled up on the bad ones. A Sylveon Terra EX. Funnily enough, I think is a collectible type thing. It, it probably will be, just because, you know. Alright, Blitzel, Eternatus, and Tapalele. Nothing in that pack. Alright, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're up to 10. I overshot it. Alright, so at the moment as well, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, is that? Oh, yeah, that was 8, wasn't it? So 8. 10. We're on 11 hits already. <laughs> We're on 11 hits, and I said this is this is 10 packs now, right? Yeah, this is the 10th last pack. There could be something in these ones. There could. There's too many packs left to thingy thing. Because we're already at 11. I can't imagine that we're only going to get 12 hits. So we're not going to get the low end. We're more than likely going to get the uh, the 14 hits. And there's still an A spec lying around. Oh, 
<laughs> Amulet of Hope. The one that I couldn't um, translate for the Japanese one that we opened the other day. This Pokemon card is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them. Jeez. <laughs> it's kind of. kind of good. It's kind of good, but kind of bad in this meta because everyone's using like Dust Noir and all that kind of stuff and Dragapult and all that kind of junk where they all die by not damage. <laughs> they die just by a, a matter of effect, really. So it's like, it's good, but not right now. <laughs> not for a while and probably not ever. Okay, nothing there. All right, so at the moment we are on 12 hits with six packs remaining. Yeah, I can imagine that we're going to get to 14 hits, probably. It just depends on what those hits are. What are they going to be? What are they going to be? Execute, Death Key, and Dialga. And nothing in the rest of the pack. Just got to check because you never know when you're going to get an Era God pack, right? It could happen. It'll probably never happen in my lifetime, but it can happen. It's been said, it's been seen and said to happen. Magnemite. Primeape and Tapu Lele. All right, so the next packet I feel like should be the hit. Should be. It's scaring me a little bit because we're down to, this is the fifth last packet and there's no SIR. <gasps> Rufflet, Gravity Mountain and Slacking. Okay, so. Hmm. If we do a little bit of math here. <laughs> We do a little bit of math. I hate doing math, but we're in 13 hits already. 13 hits, four packets left. Uh, two IRs. So there might be an IR that pops out. The full art trainer hasn't come out yet. And we've got our two A specs already, and we've got three Terra EX, Pikachu, and Sylveon, and Hydreigon. So it's probably not going to be that. We got Slacking, Archludon, Durant, and Milotic. I don't know. It, it's, this could go either way. No, I want to open these in order here. I don't want to pull that one out. It could give us another base EX. It could just give us something amazing at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit nervous now. Rapska. Chuck that to the side. Third last packet. I feel like this is where I need to start doing like the, uh, doing it the, uh, you know, the one to the front and giving us a little bit more of a ride here. Quaxley, Garia, Scatterbug, Peel, Magneton, Tauros, Shellos, Apiton, and Palkia. All right, second last packet. Whoop. Get over there. Stop sticking to my hands. Nope. One to the front. There we go. Alright. Belmise, Goldengo, Duskball, Ho Ho, Ripe. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's cool. That's nice. That's nice. Actually, it looks really cool. The colors look amazing. Straight up. Just just the colors look amazing. Jesus, this box has got so many hits in it! <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. That last packet. Hmm. 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 Maybe? Maybe. I'm glad I started doing the uh, one to the front. It's funny how it got to this point here and it started like, it's, it's just giving us that. Again, feels sus, but we know it's not sus, not here. I thought that was a misprint then. Fluttermane? Whoa, this box, man. Sea Titan. Yeah, another hit. So we, it gave us our three IRs. 
La Vesta, Execute, and yeah, it gave us our three high R's and the SIR to boot. Jeez. Um. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Appreciate that. Uh, Pokemon being nice to me. Ever since I started trying to hunt down that Greninja. One. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we got like pretty much the absolute probably high end of a box can give you. Not every box is gonna be that way, but we got the absolute high end because we also got the SIR in it too. So we got the C Titan IR, Slacking, Amulet of Hope, Hydreigon, get down there, the Execute, Milotic, Durant, Tatsugiri Full, Pikachu, Scramble Switch, Arch Ludon, Slacking Full, La Vesta IR, Sylveon Base, and then we're finishing it off <sighs> with our Arch Ludon SIR. So right now we are four boxes in. Yep, four boxes in, two remaining, and is that three now? The Leisures, the Gravity Mountain, and that. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much on what I'd expect. I'd kind, I kind of expect one of these boxes not to have an SIR, but if they both have one, then we've, we've won. Then we've lucked out at that point. Which means we've got a really, really, really good case in the sense of, you know, big hits to, yeah. And the great thing is like all these, like plus or minus like about five. Right now, that's our stack of... Let's try that again without looking like an idiot. Um, this is our stack of cards that are going towards the Master Set. Give or take about, you know, maybe about five or six of them. Purely because, you know, I put them into blue sleeves and wasn't prepared with the penny sleeves before beforehand. So, two more. Two more to go. Two more boxes to go. Um, obviously we've got like the UPCs coming up, but they don't really count for Stellar Crown. Um, I mean, the other product like ETBs for Surging Sparks and the Pokemon Center ETB, that'll be along at some point. Um, but yeah, not too much product to go with this and hopefully we're able to get to the other side and make a master set, but don't expect this one too quickly. Purely because it is slightly bigger than Stellar Crown and probably a lot more expensive to chase down so hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one